can't sleep, got a bill, there's a ground that needs to be drilled, and all I want to do is dig. From the Dead Workers Party, a podcast about all things Minecraft. Enjoy your stay in the shaft. The Shaft, episode 106, recorded on November 4th, 2012. Howdy do, I'm Brent Koblen. Howdy, howdy ho, I'm Wes Wilson. And what's crack a I'm Eric Fullerton. <laughs> yeah, shack a crack a what? And uh, we got a guest here with us. Not really here, he's way far away. Rindog is on the show. Greetings, Internet. It's Randog here. What's cracking? <laughs> excellent. Yay. We are very excited to have you with us. You have you have some excellent energy, and we are happy to have to bring it here with us. Because Guys, we- let me tell you, man, I've been a big fan of the show, and to even have been considered to be on the same platform that the likes of Sly, Yogg's Cast, and Venom, like some of the big, big names out there have been on your show, and... To even be considered like worthy of being on the show is seriously, seriously humbling. So, you know, I just want to thank you guys so much, man, for for, for even just like emailing me, man. It, it, it seriously, I I got the email from you guys. I, I I immediately phoned my girlfriend. I was like, babe, I'm gonna be on the shop. <laughs> she was like, I'm working. Leave me alone. <laughs> so, so anyway. Hey guys, I'm just so happy to be here, man. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, wow. it's our pleasure. Because, you know, really, you know, we're on it, so it can't be that good. <laughs> yeah, if it makes you feel any better, I don't think we're, we're worthy to be <laughs> hanging out with Ant Venom and Cab Sparkles and all the big ones that have been on the show, so. <laughs> but uh, you're not lacking in the cracking. That's right. So it sounds like it's going to be an awesome show day. Crack a lacking is uh, Eric's thing. He ain't slacking. Yeah. Oh. And we're just here macking. You're giving me flacking. Flacking. Wesley Wacken. I don't. <laughs> Wilson. I don't. It's a new nickname. I don't. Yeah. We're going to get that one started. I there don't you know. go. <laughs> no? I don't, I don't know. Wesley Wacken. You don't know. Wilson. So, so and if you don't know Rindog, uh, you can go to, of course, his YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel, Rindog? YouTube.com forward slash Rindog. And on Twitter, it's Rin the Dog. That's right, man. And on Facebook, it's Rindog.fans. And I've also noticed uh, you have a, a nickname for your uh, listeners and watchers. That's right, man. We call them the Cyber Dogs. The Cyber and, Dogs. Uh, cyber Dogs. I, I was gonna call, I was gonna call them dogs, <laughs> but then I realized that that was pro- would probably be quite rude. <laughs> so, so I just sort of slapped on Cyber before, and I was like, man, that is super hip. I'm down with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. We call our, our listeners the nuts. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Our, yeah. We call them nuts. Yeah. I messed it up. We just call, See, we them, call that, them nuts. We call them that behind their back, though. It's kind yeah. of a little weird. It's great. The shaft and the, the nuts. nuts. Yeah. Goes together. I think, I think my favorite's got to be White Boy's Goats. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's up with that? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I don't know. Although I have to say that, like, you have to be a little bit nuts to listen to this show but, over and over and over yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So. And, and if I haven't messed up the delivery, it would have worked out that <laughs> way. Anyway, we are sponsored by some great nuts this week, uh, <laughs> some individuals and some servers. Uh, a couple individuals here. We got Sigeria, who says, Best wishes from Lithuania. Love the show, brothers. brothers. And master <laughs> underscore TF, who says, I'm looking for luxury noses. Where can I buy Eric's? You have a luxury where, where can nose. We, can we get that? Mm. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm, Nobody I'll, knows. I'll put I'll put it on on uh, eBay. I'm gonna, I'll sign it too if you'd like. <laughs> and that uh, won't be the shaft. <laughs> that is nose. <laughs> so we also have some uh, great servers that sponsors this week. We have Royster Ticket Server, which is a, a private server for Royster members. Oh, cool. Royster. And then next we have TBAgaming.com. They're also a Tekkit server. Evidently, we're becoming very popular with the Tekkit servers. And their message is, we have an economy, townie, and more. Go to TBAgaming.com. They hear we tech it seriously. Uh, oh. <laughs> they reused it. Yeah. I like that. Anyway, we also have uh, Watershed. Once again, these guys have been uh, sponsors for a while now. That's mc-thewatershed.net, a 2,500 uh, square kilometer survival RPG world with YouTube adventures and more. 
And lastly, we have our regular contributor, Lord Bones, lordbones.com. They do weekly Minecraft videos, and this week, the much-anticipated Power of Kings, featuring notes from Mor- Morgwin LP. Let's get into this, puppy! <laughs> <laughs> Journeys. I don't want to be inside a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> we know what you want to be inside of. Yeah. A tech it server. <laughs> tech it. Right? Yes. Because you tech it. FTB. Yeah, we have some, some questions. Yeah, let's just start off with that. We, we're, we're talking about uh, you know starting a TechIt server or TechIt series. Like everybody wants us to. We want to. Uh, you know, everything's great. But recently people say, no, 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 don't do tech it. Do FTB. Which is feed the beast, which is also something we haven't really, we don't really know about. But <laughs> apparently, it's a lot of mods, and it has something to do with Tekkit, right? And, it's in and Minecraft. And Minecraft. Do you know anything about this, Rendog? Um, well, someone told me about feed the beast, but um, I have to say that it sounded pretty dirty to me, so I kind of stayed away from it. <laughs> I'm not feeding no beast on my channel, thanks. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> so we will look into this and uh, figure it out. I, I sometimes feel like we might be behind the curve a little bit on Tekkit. Maybe a I'm, little. Yeah, <laughs> you know it's been out for a while. If FTB yeah. is some new thing, or or it might be an old thing, I really don't yeah. know. But wouldn't it be cool to have Tekkit and and uh, FTB on the same server? Is that crazy? I think, create I, a yeah, I think it would blow paradox up. Paradox or something. Yeah, hmm. yeah. I think we would blow up. Our computers would blow so, up. So you've been doing a Tekkit series, right, Rendong? That's right, man. I've been I've been playing Tekkit with my brother from the same freaking mama, <laughs> uh, the real Gox. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I have to say, well, my brother's a, a, an engineer, right? So he's like a super smart guy. Like at university, I did humanity subjects and I did philosophy. I did, whatever, I did whatever I could do to just pass as easy as possible. My brother decided to become an engineer. And uh, we, we were playing when we first started, when I first started this channel about a year and a half ago, we were playing Terraria at the time. Mm-hmm. And uh, my brother got quite bored quite quickly because it just wasn't, you know, it wasn't technical enough for him. And as soon as Take It came around, I suddenly thought, man, my brother is going to love Take It so much. And I got him hooked. And man, he is like, he has Take It dreams. <laughs> he told me that, he, <laughs> that he, he has got this idea of creating a reactor that he's actually made in real life in Take It. And I'm like, dude, you're making me look stupid because you're just, you're too <laughs> smart for this. But, um, We've been playing Tekken now for, I mean, we're on, on, on episode 15 or so now. And uh, we, we managed to make a quarry, but uh, we melted it. So, so we, <laughs> we kind of noobed quarry? out and um, kind of embarrassed, actually, about it. But uh, <laughs> we got a lot to learn in Tekken. <laughs> wow. That's kind of, that sounds kind of awesome. So this from the chat room, P- uh, Pampuli. 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 He sa- he's a regular. He says, Tekken and FTB are, have mostly the same mods, so having them both doesn't make too much sense. Okay. Ooh. So it is a Bad similar enough. thing. Okay. So we got to choose one or the other. Okay. So I said we do FTB. It's what the listeners want. That's what we do, right? We're yeah. here for them. Because we didn't listen to Sh- any of them sucks. when they asked for Tekken. <laughs> 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 well, it's, it's been server issues, right? Server yeah. issues after server issues. So uh, most of y'all know that we've been with uh, uh, Lethal Drive over the past year. Uh, they sent us to uh, Minecon. So why not, right? Yeah. Yeah, send us to Minecon. We'll uh, promote your servers. <laughs> well, apparently we didn't promote them well enough or something. They went under we and uh, Xenon server servers took over Xenon, 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 um, they're fabulous brothers from a different planet, Xenon, planet Z, anyway, well, we've been dealing yeah. with them trying to get our, all our maps moved, because uh, we've got to move all our lethal drive maps over to the other ones, and apparently I think they deleted the at Brent Copeland server, Aww. so it's, and it's kind of humorous, because he's asking me when to move the, uh, the shaft lands, I'm like, well, I just need enough time to let people know, so let me know what's good with you, but something probably in the morning, right? Uh, uh, but I have another map I need off a different server. And he's like, oh, yeah, no, no, we already moved that one over. And I, I was like, no, that's my son's server, the one I paid for from for my son. And he's oh, no, no, we combined those. And I'm like, no, you didn't. I'm looking at the file structure, and we had hundreds of maps in this thing. But I needed just one, <laughs> just one that has my name on it, just the one that says uh, uh, Brent Copeland. Uh, and he was like, oh, well, l- let me uh, let me go see what happened. I'll, g- I'll get right back to you. That was last Monday, and I haven't heard a word. Oh. So 
I'm pretty sure he's like, oh, crap. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to, like, have to tell the guy we deleted his world. Yeah. <laughs> so three that seasons. Not go down well. Yeah. So we may have to uh, make a new island or something and, uh, and re- FTB restart. It up. We, need a, we need a new. We need the terrain generator from the latest release anyway. Yeah. Just FTB it, right? Maybe we'll just do that instead. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Feed the Brent Copeland. Follow me go. on Twitter. There you go. Feed the birds. Wasn't Somewhere. that a Mary Poppins song? Feed yeah, the birds yeah, that? sure it was. FTB. Huh? No? no, Mary Poppins didn't sing it. Oh. So uh, we, me and Eric, played a little bit this week. Yes, we played. We played some Mind Z with um, with Eep. Yeah, and uh, we got to listen to her scream and giggle. Yeah, there's some Halloween stuff going on. Although yeah. I don't think I filmed any. Uh, no, I didn't really spend. It, at the very end of the uh, the session, we we got to oh, was it Romero? Yes, that has a cool sky. Yeah. and it had a pumpkins and it had like uh, nether everywhere, as if it was like bursting through the city. It looked cool. Yeah, but I guess it's probably over now since it's a Halloween thing. But yeah, Romero was pretty cool. Yeah, I think I only got killed there twice. Yeah, something like that. You've been doing Mind Z also, haven't you, Ren? Yeah, man. Um, I'm playing on on a private European server, and man, that it's it's so hard. It is so freaking hard to not die, man. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 you know when you're making a, a series, and you know that death is imminent, right? So mm-hmm. you're like, how many? How long can I actually play before I die? Yeah. And you, you know, and it's just you you know you're gonna die, right? It's inevitable yeah. that you're gonna die. But uh. At the moment, man, I'm I'm pretty pimped out. I've got like chainmail armor. I've got like quite a hardcore sword. I've got an enchanted bow. I'm kicking ass. But See, I know like, that I'm gonna die. I don't I don't ever find any of that stuff. Every time I play Mind Z, I run around looking for my friends and food. And sometimes yeah. I will find some food. Sometimes <laughs> I will find my friends, and I am always able to find people willing to kill me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean there's no shortage of people like just wanting to hack you up. Yeah. <laughs> and we were walking around with Eep, and she has a lot of stream regulars who are like Two Face. Like sometimes they help her, and then sometimes they kill her. Um, oh yeah, nice crew. Yeah. So so like she'd be like, "Hey, you know, be cool, be cool." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, aren't humans awesome? Like, yeah. <laughs> we don't want to help each other. We just want to kill each other, take each other's apples. Uh. Well, that's just it. And sometimes I wonder about Mind Z. Like if there's enough. Um, if there's enough motivation to do anything good in that game, because there doesn't really uh, seem to be much motivation to help other people. Right. Cause right. if you do form a crew and are running around killing, like all, I mean, really all it takes is like one person going rogue and all of a sudden your whole group is dead. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do y'all watch walking dead? Yes. No. I'm not going to give anything away, but in the last one, there was a scene, just one scene where I go, Oh yeah, he plays mind Z. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's kind of cool. A little throwback there. No, I mean, there's no actual throwback. Just what he does in the scene. I'm yeah. like, oh yeah. Oh, okay, nice. That's how it would play out. So, uh, but we 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 did have fun, and you've yeah. edited some of that together, and it's been going out yeah. on the YouTube channel. Yep. Yeah, I got a Mind Z number four out right now. Five is coming up this week, uh, and then. Uh, oh, I got a server this week um, just for something to play with and, and just to get some experience, I guess. Um, but I got an MC Pro hosting server for myself. How was your experience getting that? It was actually uh, pretty seamless. I, I signed up, and uh, instantly I was issued an IP address. And I logged right in, and it was up and ready to go. So Very then cool. uh, I applied for a uh, subdomain, and then they had that up real quick, like, bam. So... Now I got a server, but now knowing that we have a lot of other servers, I, I think I might I might end up canceling this one and using uh, the ones that were given to us. And anyway, so our server situation is a little weird. But I wanted to make sure that during the day, me and Wes and any mm-hmm. like day crowd can actually play, and we can just do something. I don't know, like a whatever. I don't know, uh, adventure map or just I don't know uh, some uh, maybe. Yeah. Um, the Minotaur thing, you know, that yeah. Blame the Controller did that I still haven't played yet. We still haven't done um, Turtle Chase either. Oh, Deep Space Turtle Chase? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, or uh, the Rebel yeah. Base. <laughs> yes. <thing>. Yeah. <laughs> the Rebels. Uh, We're so Paradise behind. Decay. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, so I, I messed around with that. And then uh, also we have, I don't know, is this still a secret? 
Uh, we st- we still have a series that is about to be edited. We talked about it last week, didn't we? When Brent wasn't here, we talked a little bit about it. I said it was going to be time travel, but we did one before the time travel one, so still That's wait fitting. out for that one. Yeah. Is this one? We did something before the time travel. That's always fitting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we went back in time and did this one first. So, yeah. Anyway, so expect a new adventure this week. Adventure! Adventure! Yeah. And we need, we need to... Uh, Get my menace out there pretty quick. Now we screwed up on one thing. Uh, we didn't have command block running on the server, so there's a few things like there's a switch oh, yeah. you you hit in the basement that didn't activate. It yeah. should have. Yeah. Uh, so we'll turn that back on before we play the next time and finish it up with the uh, command blocks on. They okay. said that's fine, uh, okay. uh, but they have basically made this an exclusive for us, so we need to like be kind to them and go ahead and get the recording out so they can yes. start releasing it to other people. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's kind of on hold, right? Okay, yeah. exclusive. So. And also, the time travel map, I won't even tell you what it is because it's, it's a fun surprise, but it's not Chrono Tide. A lot of people th- seem to think it is. And I didn't know Car- Chrono Tide... Ca- I didn't know that had <laughs> time travel in it, and I'm a little more excited about that now. Um, so, Or spoiled. No, no spoiled. everything was spoiled. Yeah. So is that everything? Was that it last is. week? I think it is. What did you do this week? Rindog. Man, this week has been intense, let me tell you guys. Because <laughs> I mean, 1.4 came out, what, like a, a week ago? Mm-hmm. And um, I've been waiting for 1.4 to start my new season. Mm-hmm. So I, I run Minecraft seasons of 100 videos a season. Oh, my God. And um, we just finished season one. And, and, you know, I've been waiting now for the whole, the, basically the whole of October to start season two. And... Um, I got the recording done this week, and you know it went into post production. This season, I wanted to do like some cool stuff. Actually, in the video that you can see on the screen, there's like st- basically stuff from the season. So like mm. you know, cool uh, post editing stuff with text and stuff like that. But it's just meant that the actual production time is quadzillion. And uh, instead of taking like an hour to edit a video, it's taken like five. Uh, and so I'm now on to my fifth render of the first episode of season one. And, uh, man, it is busting my butt, basically. <laughs> 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 Crazy. But it's been, good, man. it's been a good week. I'm really excited to get started. Like, uh, um, hopefully we're going to get, get season one uh, or episode one up tonight. And then uh, we're back to daily videos this week. So cool. that's, what's been, that's what's been going on. Very cool. So that'll be up by the time this episode airs. So YouTube, hopefully, youtube.com slash Rindal get up. Yep. Hells yeah. <laughs> From the Minecraft Daily, news and updates. Brent's back, so we're making boop boop sounds. I was going to do it last week. No, I managed to do a lot of, like, Things without him doing his normal things. Oh, because yeah, yeah, yeah. he was, it was very meta pusher last week. Yeah. It was it was cool. There was it a was lot of good. meta going on. Hmm. It was metas. Meta. Meta. Yeah. Meta. meta. In the pants. So we have a one point four point three pre pre fixes fixes and more fixes. Uh, so there's another update of Minecraft on the way. There is a pre release version of one point four point three that has been put out and it fixes over one hundred bugs. Yeah, yeah, that's probably with the new bug tracker helping them out, yep. fixing all that. Whoa, whoa, I, I've got a question. I, why release a patch with 100 bugs in it? <laughs> I, uh, that's a very good question. Maybe it was the lucky number 100 uh, or something. Yeah, I think, I think it was you know that they didn't know they were there. And then probably Seth Bling made a video of 100 bugs in 1.4.3. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, so basically item duplication, skeletons firing too fast, and a lot of cosmetic issues have been fixed. Uh, and if you want to see the full list, you can head over to the Mojira page. Uh, uh, and uh. it's uh, scheduled for release next Wednesday. Sweet. This, this Wednesday, I guess. This Wednesday. Yep. This Wednesday. So we also had um, a new item in the Jinx store. Steve, Steve with armor. Steve without armor. Steve, Steve, get your Steve at Jinx. <laughs> uh, they're like thirty bucks a pop, and they'll be uh, shipping out November twentieth. So yeah, they look kind of cool. They're they're very stylized, kind of like know? the creeper. Yeah, yeah. That they do. Yeah, but you know they've got tiny waists. 
you know, and big hands, uh, big heads and stuff. <laughs> mm. And so, you know, I really think this is bringing about negative body issues for Minecrafters. But <laughs> oh yeah, that's just me. So okay, evidently now Minecraft can help you get college credits. Yeah, it can. Uh, Bowling Green State University in Ohio has been using Second Life uh, to do this uh, to teach virtual art classes, and now they're branching out into using Minecraft. Students use both Minecraft and Second Life to create their own digital art and receive college credit for their work. Wow. How cool is that? It's very that cool. That is freaking sweet, man. Wow. So, um, so of course, using Minecraft to create art is nothing new, but the uh, university classes will help add to the number of academic institutions that are using games for educational usage. And that, that pleases me greatly. And I'm sure it pleases Joel greatly as well. Yeah. Wow. So, I too am pleased. I'm all for it. Yeah. We also had a uh, the Minecraft community show. That's awesome. It's again a few days ago, avid Minecrafter Tinfoil Chef reluctantly put out a call for help with donating towards his winter heating costs, which he estimated at a thousand dollars. The reason he did so was because because in 2011 his health ended up suffering significantly because he wasn't able to heat his home properly. Uh, well, thanks to a video rallying his own Minecraft viewers, TFC hit nearly double that amount, finishing at $1,830. A huge thank you to all those who donated. And that's uh, it's one of the things that hmm. the Minecraft community has not been in short supply of, and that's donating and helping out uh, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, something else we should be uh, seeing very soon is the uh, documentary. It should be out this month. Oh, I, yeah. oh yeah, we get an early screening. I uh, been seeing some things about uh, them trying to render stuff out and stuff, and it blowing up because like credits being way too long and, and some funny stuff. Because <laughs> like they had you know like three thousand credits because of all the people that yeah y you know did the Kickstarter and like how. Like, they've got to find some new way of getting all those credits on the screen. Word right? cloud. Because if they just do 3,000 <laughs> names scrolling up, I mean, it's like double the video length. Yeah, <laughs> you could do that. You remember, uh, who was it? Uh, one of the Kevin Smith's movies, he had thousands. It was like 16 rows and, you know, however many columns. It was yeah. just like, or no, columns, right? It was just microscopic i mean you can't see it without a blu-ray yeah. right if you're watching a dvd good luck it's just some blurry and i think they have to do that i mean what else are they going to do but to do you think that. that diminishes the yes you think it diminishes yes. from I, well i mean i don't know any way that you can i mean really the best way to handle it would be to do like one of those you know how they take the pictures and make them of other pictures you know, oh, they yeah. should make a graphic of, you know, something and have everybody's name in the graphic, like part of it, you know, <laughs> um, that would be the easiest way to do it. But at the same time, if I had donated and I wanted to see my name in the credits, I'd be like, dad, come it. That yeah. sucks. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I mean, Tar Tarantino does it pretty good, right? Like he makes the credits. He tries to make it cool. You know, like he'll slap on some like cowboy music in the background mm -hmm have some gunfire going off and then the credits rolling and you're like, damn, I'm watching the credits, but this is sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And maybe that'll be what it boils down to. They just need to take it and like action it up. Yeah. You know? Action it up. Yeah. Maybe hire Pixar to do a little video on the side while all the people's names are scrolling by. <laughs> nice. yeah. It should just yeah. be explosions, man. Like every name should just explode. <laughs> <laughs> I would watch, I would that watch for like the three credits hours. from start to end if that happened. Yeah, that would be pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, uh, do we want to go into this next thing? The next thing? We've got uh, our sponsor. Yes, we do. You should go and sign up for an Audible trial, 30-day free Audible trial. You get a free audiobook from Audible if you go to audibletrial.com slash the shaft and sign up. That uh, And then they have like over 100,000 things to um, read on there, sort of read, listen to. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can get a free book if you sign up, and you'll help the show. That is true. So I am a member, like I recommended John Dies at the End. Do you remember me rec recommending that a long time ago? Uh, it was the book I was reading. Oh, okay. And uh, they're making a movie out of it. Oh. And I saw a preview for it for the first time. Uh, it's by a cracked writer named David Wong. And, uh, cracked? 
Cracked oh, magazine. From the magazine? Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, and so they do have the audiobook on there, and but the movie's coming out soon. And I'm I, I every time I lay down to read at night, I get about two pages, and then I pass out. And so I'm just now about to finish the book. Oh, so there you have it. <laughs> um, I have to say, guys, I'm actually a big fan of Audible. Man, I use Audible to get all my Ricky Gervais content. Love that oh, guy. Oh, yeah. Very nice. He makes me lol big time. <laughs> he's the best. Yeah, he's awesome. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I I loved him because I remember when the the British office was the only office, mm-hmm. and it was so dry and so brutal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sad. Like my fa- my favorite scene from the office, the British version, is when the the camera just uh, zooms in on the printer, <laughs> and I'm like, that is comedy, man. <laughs> because the amount of t- the amount of hours I've spent standing next to a freaking printer <laughs> wanting to smash the freaking daylights out of it man seriously but ricky gervais was so awesome in that and like i don't like that you actually like the the main characters in the the american version because you like them all for the most part yeah even the reprehensible Absolutely. ones you still like right. but nobody really likes the ricky gervais character in the office mm-hmm. he's a total tool and a douchebag <laughs> and and no one likes him and he has the best dance in the world. Yes. When he does, when he does those arm helicopter things, <laughs> oh, that, that is comedy gold, man. I mean, like a lot of the cyber dogs are quite young, so maybe some of them haven't seen that stuff. But, man, you guys have got to watch The Office, the, the UK version. It's amazing. Yeah. Is it on Netflix? It is on Netflix, yeah. the UK yeah. and the US. Yep. Just... Netflix streaming. Well, we'll talk about that a little <laughs> <Yeah>. later. <laughs> well, before we get into that, you know what it's time for? <laughs> Listener contributions. Listener contributions. Listener contributions. Listener contributions. Lovely. I think the egg was on key that time. It was a little bit. <laughs> it was on key, and, and uh, you know what, Eric Minor Elf thinks you're cool. No, yeah. oh. in all caps, I'll point out. I think Eric is cool. Or that may be mine, Ralph. I'm not sure. Mine, Ralph. My, I think minor you're elf. Cool. Mine, Ralph. Minor elf. Oh, minor elf. Might be mine, Ralph. Yes. Mm, well, I think minor elf is cool. Yep. And this next one is from <laughs> I less than three Wes. Hey. So, so guess what? I think that means <laughs> that he loves me. Uh, I was just wondering when is the best time to submit an excavation station or other contribution? Because if I mm. submit it early in the week, I was just wondering if it would be seen. We should have had uh, Astra call in and I answer know. this. I know. We should get some audio oh, yeah. of Astra on here. So, I but, know. I but haven't Astra. Heard, I haven't uh, heard his voice in forever. I miss it. Yeah. But Astra says, if you're sending in a contribution via the submission form, it will always be seen, so long as you put it in the correct category. Wait, you have to, you have to finish it with an like, English accent. <laughs> like Mates. The <laughs> show notes are <laughs> usually compiled on either Saturday evening or Sunday morning UK time. So as long as you submit it in 2 p.m. Central on Saturday, it'll be looked at for the next day's show. Otherwise, it goes over the following week. I don't know. That was more New England. That was like New New York gangster, man. That was sort of like scary. JFK meets. I have no clue. Yeah, something weird. And add a pip-pip cheerio at the end there. (laughs) Hello, governor. <laughs> and Astro just typed in the notes. I'm cringing right now. <laughs> hey, we, he does a Astro Golly does a great American accent. I've heard it. It's it, actually it's, is good. It's really good, actually. So yeah, so it it always gets there. So our last one is kind of strange. This is from Scorpio, and he says, "I was recently banned from a Minecraft server for saying I was an atheist." The Whoa. server wasn't religiously religiously sectioned at all, and the server owner said it was fine, but as soon as he logged off, a Christian admin started spewing profanity at him and banned him. Uh, I have no way of contacting the server owner, and I decided to write to the show in case uh, about this case of a faith-induced admin abuse. So, hmm. so like, I, I have lots of atheist friends, and um, I usually don't, there's no judgment there, but I have noticed that like when you get on like big MMOs and stuff, like some of the really verbal atheists can be like real jerks. Mm, yeah. And um, so I got to say like, 
at the same time, like this admin sounds like a bad person. Um, he probably might have been provoked by a bunch of atheists before you, and so there might be some mitigating circumstances here. Ah, yeah. and I'll just go back to the you know, um, good thing you found out now before you built a bunch of stuff. Like, yeah, why be on the server if people don't if this yeah. guy doesn't want you there? I mean, it's their private servers for the most part. You know, they yeah. may be called public because they open them up to the public or whatever. Yeah. But in the end, they're actually private servers and whoever owns it or runs it, it's their rules and whatever. And, you know, not defending them for doing that or, or whatever. I, yep. I think it's stupid, but they're stupid people in this world. No matter what they're stupid for. Uh, so just you count know, your blessings. Play with stupid people. Yeah. Count your man, blessings. On, on top of all of that, it is the internet, man. <laughs> <laughs> but my belief, my, this is what I believe. I keep your beliefs off the interbubs, and everything will be cool. Believe whatever you want, just yeah. don't put it on the internet. Yeah, yeah, because then it could have been your life a, will be easy. Yeah, it could have been a fight about like politics too. Yeah. You know, it could have been really anything. Oh, and really, you're never going to change anyone's opinion about anything in Minecraft chat. I, I think I'm pretty safe <laughs> in, in saying chat. that. Yeah. Like yeah. sitting there in that little text box in the bottom left, there is not one single person in the whole wide world whose mind you're going to change. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. And, and these are one of these things we, like you kind of said, we don't know what was said. Like what was the conversation that brought up the fact that you thought it was yeah. prevalent for you to say, hey, I'm an atheist. Yeah. It's right. not, hey, we're going to build a subsidian tower. I'm an atheist. <laughs> and then I doubt he got mad at you for, you know, I, yeah. You know. yeah. <laughs> so, I, yeah. You know. So you need to, I guess, what, just. No, so, so get religion in your boy. So boy. we are we both <laughs> sympathize and don't sympathize with you because we're happy that you're off of the server with the stupid admin and that you're going to be building elsewhere with better people. Yeah, come to the Shaftlands. Yeah, yeah come to the Shaftlands. No, well, no, the Shaftlands is the one that got ba he banned. He got no. banned from Shaftlands. No, right? no, it has no. nothing to do with the Shaftlands. Oh, I thought that was our server. No. Oh yeah, oh. we'll come to ours. The, yeah. our, we got the server with less fervor. <laughs> Does that work? Does that make sense? What does that mean? Give me some nuts. <laughs> yeah, all right. No, no, that makes... I felt like it needed some rhyme or something. That makes no sense whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it makes no sense with the chain of events. Hey! <laughs> er, I missed the button. Excavation station. All right, people. The excavation station where we come up with your Minecraft revelations. And then one day this stuff 1. might be put into 3. the game. You know, who uh, knows? Yeah, or it might not. Yeah, uh, because of your shame. And we do have Notch under the table, so you will be hearing some comments from him about you your. You didn't awesome rhyme ideas. it. What's up with that? Uh, uh, we got yeah. Notch under the table. He'll comment if he's able. Yeah. Hey. 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 Ho. Oh. That's good. Let's I like go. that one. So our first one to get on to actual stuff was submitted by Doctor Fruit Salad. That's a great name. <laughs> um, he wants enchantment books. You could find books in dungeons with certain enchantments on them. Knockback, sharpness 2, etc. And if you use that book while crafting a bookshelf and place that bookshelf on your enchanting, uh, in your enchanting room, the effect will always be available to choose for 30, XP's level, 30 XP levels. Uh, it means it isn't always random, but you need to do the exploring and find the effects that you want. And also, it would limit the number of choices, so there's like a hindrance to it. So let's say I get sharpness too, mm -hmm. and I put it in my little bookshelf thing, right? Mm -hmm. That means every time I go to enchant something, it will be one of the enchantments that comes up, which means the other two might be random, but I only get two, right? Uh, so, I don't know. I like it. I, I, um, I like parts of this idea. <laughs> and maybe not the whole thing. Like I like the idea of, hey, let's find something in a dungeon that tells us how to do this enchant, and now I can do this enchant. Mm -hmm. And maybe I need something is a material component of that, and I put that into the enchantment table and get my enchantment. Instead of this whole random, you just put your thing in, and it gives you a couple random enchants. Yeah. Like, I almost just throw that out the door. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't hate it. I just I like the idea of finding a, a reason to go looking for a dungeon. Yeah. Now, that would have to say I think maybe it might need to be easier to find dungeons or haunted towers or a whole bunch of different options into where you can find these things cuz right now, I mean, it just doesn't seem um that yeah. prevalent of you know, places. 
Yep. Yeah. I'm all for it. I mean, it wouldn't be sweet, right? If you could enchant a book with an enchantment. So say you had like a, a, a sword that was enchanted and you put it into, the, say, the anvil, for example, and you stuck a book in that bad boy and you, you anviled it. Yeah, take then that. You, that book. would create the enchanted book, right? So that you could cr- you could build like a library of of the sweetest enchantments that you like. I actually really like this idea. I just think that um, that you know how you would actually do it is probably much more complicated than than we think. But I actually think it's a sweet idea because it it promotes like uh, um, exploring, right? It promotes you like getting up, like off your ass, <laughs> rendering some new chunks, finding yeah. some new stuff. Mm-hmm. Rather than just like sitting around your cobblestone castle that you made. Yep, I'm all for it. Yeah, you know who else is all for it? Hmm. Ooh, that's a great idea. Let's do it. Hey, hey, Notch likes it. He does. That's awesome. Wouldn't okay. it be great if he was still working on this game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we also have here one from Lunds Fordium who wants lightning rods, and they go on to say you should be able to craft a lightning rod which attracts lightning during storms and channels the energy into released experience points. Experience raining now. What? I mean, what? I don't know. I kind of like it. What? What? So you have a lightning rod. It gets struck, and it rains experience down from it. And then it. So you dance around and catch the experience? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It's alive! Come on, that would be really (laughs) It's like a rain dance. And you got the stick, like, hoo, hoo, You should be dead if you were standing next to a lightning rod. See, I would think you would put it on your your house. Like, you put it on your house and stand in the house. Why are you getting experience? Because. Get it for making the stupid lightning rod, not for dancing under a. Hey, you get experience for all kinds of stupid stuff. Dancing under lightning is no less stupid than... Well, a uh, uh, lightning bolt is enough to uh, generate 1.21 gigawatts. That's true. So, so you, you could go. power a flux capacitor if and, you had enough plutonium. And, and where we're going, we don't need experience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, that, I, I mean, absolutely not, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, what was that, Rentog? Sorry. Sorry. Notch was talking over you. <laughs> that jerk. Freaking Notch. Shut up, man. <laughs> 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 Saws, Saws Notch, just kidding. Um, I was saying that lightning rods would be good in Tekken. Yeah. See, now we're talking, right? Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. I, I don't get it, man. Lightning into XP. I mean, look, Minecraft is, you know, there's loads of physics fails in Minecraft and yeah. floating trees. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. But, you know, lightning lightning into XP. I mean, seriously. What? Well, what's next? Like, hey, when I sleep in a bed, I should get XP. Maybe. Why? Yeah. Maybe. Give me a reason. Maybe. Like, I don't... What's the reason behind the Lightning Rod XP a- transference? I don't know. Just because. Just because it's cool. Just because. Sure. I like Lightning Rods. I think, I think, I'll go with Lightning Rods. I think Lightning Rods would help Rendog melt far more quarries in Tekkit. I'm all for <laughs> Lightning Rods. Just not the experience raining down. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'll buy it. We like Lightning Rods. Another idea for what they do. Yes. Send it for in. For time travel. And and Astra says lots of people get experience from being in bed. <laughs> I'm not. Sh- I think this is a new part of the game. I'm not sure what he's referencing. Yeah. But. Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, you got this next one. Sure. The so the next one is from Pink Water Buffalo, and he wants reanimating animals. Hmm. You should be able to craft. The- <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> You should be able to craft. Where's your? We need witches now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. So you should be able to craft the corpses of animals from bones and their respective dropped items, and be able to enchant the corpses to turn into spawn eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we put that on our roof and have it rain experience? Sure. Down <laughs> this would let you easily move animals across long distances without having to lure them slowly with wheat. So you dismember the animal. And put it back together so that you can raise it in your pen. Wow. Zombie farm. It's a zombie farm. That's you killed creepy. all the animals. Now they're back to luck, kind of. And uh, the crystal mm-hmm. crow threw in here that maybe we use Lunsfordium's lightning rods to reanimate them. Aha. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I like it. See, I, I like the, the second part of that, being able to move animals long distances. I like that idea. Yeah. Uh, cutting animals up and then putting them back together again. I don't know, man. It's a bit creepy. Yeah. It is. It seems like maybe a Halloween event or something that might have occurred, but I don't know. Altogether, it kind of really does add kind of a 
some horror into the game yeah, or you can something. Have, you know? wait, 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 hang on. So, so you want me to turn my cows into delicious steaks, and then instead of eating the steaks, <laughs> I got to I got to use a lightning rod to make them into cows again. <laughs> yes, I mean that is that sounds crazy to me. Yeah, so, yeah. And, and I think this just brings up a definite need for some sort of transportation. Yeah. Like yeah. cow trucks or something, yeah. or a wagon that you put wheat and fill it up with wheat, and a bunch of animals will follow. But just something that I can move around faster than running or walking. Yeah, and at the same time, I'd like to be able to move N- uh, NPC guys around like that too. Like maybe because it's freaking yeah. hard to get those dudes to come to you, you know your cobblestone castle that you've made. Yeah, and buying them dinner and drinks just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, they're Anymore. not into that, man. It used to work. <laughs> Slash TP. We do. We need maybe like a sixteen-wheeler big rig truck yep. added in the game, so we just load it up with chickens and cows and people. <laughs> just drive it across country. Are these dead people? Or uh, it doesn't like, matter. We're we're going, we can reanimate them if they're. We've dead. got the lightning rod on the <laughs> bus. Yeah. yeah, there you go. We're dangerously close to, close to some weird stuff here. Oh, we um, can spray paint it like hippies. So you want to do this fun. last one? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Notch. Why don't you read this last one? This is Notch, and you're. <laughs> and uh, I would like to see chickens picking crops in the garden, if not fenced. This way, you would have to put more effort into growing your veggies, because I feel it has gone too since simple since you can't destroy crops when walking on them. <laughs> what is that? What is this? That was <laughs> a horrible notch. From yeah, the that is a really <laughs> terrible notch accent. Uh, meow. Uh, chickens <laughs> eating crops is what this is. Uh, submitted by Cygeria. So basically... Yeah, crops yeah. are too safe um I, I really have not pondered the safety of crops being an issue in the game uh so chickens picking crops yeah so basically random chickens walking around will eat your food oh like we want that Yes. Oh yeah. No. Why would we want that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. I, I thought you meant that was happening right now. We need to prevent it. No. Well, no. It used to be that if a mob got into your garden and it walked on it, oh, and they killed trampled. The crops. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. And I mean, I understand a little bit of it, but there's a reason they took that out. It was annoying. <laughs> yeah. It was. It's easy to grief yourself by accident and others. But yeah. that's no. the thing, man. That's the thing about Minecraft, right? There's like such a fine between uh, annoying. And like awesome, yeah. You know what I mean, it's such a difficult game to balance because you want to make it challenging, but you also don't want to make it so that you know. Like, imagine you go on a huge adventure, you eat all your freaking bread, you come back to your castle, and a chicken has destroyed <laughs> all your your wheat, <laughs> and you're like, dude, you know, you're gonna instantly turn him into a tasty roast chicken, yeah, like <laughs> without even thinking, yeah, like dude, he's chicken, getting mute, dude, yeah. Yeah. yeah, bread. Or you might reanimate him so he can run over your friend's crops. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <sighs> or no, uh, no, not. no. That gives a big. Eh. Can you do that for me? Yeah, <laughs> that's so. Re- so bring it. <laughs> bring yeah. us well, something guys, I, good. I've got an First idea, idea to throw at you, man. I want to. Th- I want to throw an idea into the pot here. Okay. Awesome. 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 What? A, what about a grappling hook? <laughs> We have never talked about those ever. <laughs> I, you know, I'm talking about like Terraria style grappling hooks, man, where you can spelunker your ass around giant ravines. Um, oh, like Spider Man? Like, yeah. like, like hitting it and then swinging from like it? Like Bionic Commando slash Spider Man type stuff? Like the I, I I don't know I don't know man I, I don't know the ins and outs of this right but <laughs> I'm 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 thinking pointing my grappling hook it's going to shoot like twenty blocks it's going to grip into whatever block it smashes into and drag you to that block and then that's it man that's how it works that's the mechanic. So I remember okay people in the chat room saying a grappling hook in Ghostcraft I'm not familiar with that I know that there was a grappling hook in Yogbox. Mm-hmm. long ago but you couldn't swing from it it wasn't like or maybe it was just a rope basically you attach it to something above you and you climb up and down so it wasn't real exciting you would definitely but. i mean I, I would i would stipulate that you would definitely have to swing yeah you'd yeah. have to be able to swing <laughs> like buy on a commando yeah. yeah yeah so you could do like sweet ass swings over giant molten pits of lava oh that'd be and, so fun and just be really sweet now what could, it, what? 
Okay. What, what if we mix that idea with adding a new weapon type and we go all Indiana Jones on this and get a whip in there that you can use to swing from? You can whip cows, uh, dead body parts. Them. Man, I'm loving the sound of that whip. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, but you know, like if if you're swinging around real fast, you know, like Spider Man swinging, swinging, and and stuff like that, is that is that too much for the current Minecraft engine? Is that why we don't have flying mounts and stuff like that? No, because well, I, I think, like you said, this is a short thing. It's twenty box, ten box, twenty. Okay, yeah. Yeah. it's not two chunks. Right. Right. Uh, like a- my like my my uh, theory about this is right is that Terraria was kind of like kind of like copied Minecraft right in a way, mm-hmm. and I think they kind of they kind of like brothers that had a had a fallout you know, and it's like Minecraft had some really sweet ideas Terraria had some really sweet ideas but they're kind of ignoring each other they don't want to like steal from each other you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. so it's kind of fa- like awkward territory it's kind of <laughs> like the Twix factories. Exactly Twix? like the Twix factory. Yes. What did they do that's weird? The Twix brothers. Twix brothers? Yeah, they got upset, so they made their factories on a different side of the rivers. And on one side, they made smooth, creamy, flowing caramel and chocolate Twix. And on the other side, they made some other kind of caramelly chocolate Twix. Really? Yeah. Is that why there's always two Twix bars in a package? That's why. One from each exactly. other. That's weird. I never and they're, that. they're almost exactly the same, but not quite. Yeah. Twix lore. One of them has been licked. <laughs> pre-packaged you can guess which one and but if you it, guess what? wrong you got licked I, and one I has been reanimated I, i'm really confused with the where, rod. where we're going with <laughs> someone <this>. got xp <laughs> can, can we can we talk about something else i don't know any other ideas it sounded well, like yeah, west I, yeah, didn't I mean, really like the i don't, the I don't the other like thing it. i want to see in minecraft personally is like better trains yes you know, i want to be able to make like a train that doesn't that doesn't move at the speed of of sleep for one yeah <laughs> you know like a train that can go uphill and and stuff like that and i i don't know man i just think they really need to work on the train stuff you I, know, like this is my dream right i want to make a train that has a chest okay i can still i can do that now but it doesn't care about hills and stuff like that and i can make cabins and i can stick npcs in them that's that is all i want man you know <laughs> is that jeb, too much to ask jeb did uh invent uh, automatic tracks yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the auto is. tracks are sweet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's a step forward. But, like what I'm working on in my Minecraft world is a rail, a railway, a railway line that just traverses like twenty chunks, right? It just, it just goes. And I mean, you know how much gold you need to automate that, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's gross. ridiculous. Like, yeah. why can't I make a sweet ass speed train? Yeah, true. The only really big train lines I've made, I did with op powers. You know, I uh, summoned. Yeah. I summoned the track. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine what it would take to make significant track mining up in a regular Minecraft world. No, but it's not as bad as like you would think, because you don't like you don't have to have a powered rail. It's like one every eight or nine. Yeah, blocks. So it's not as bad as people think. Because in one of my first maps, I like got lost and made a fort for the night out on like way away from my main town and finally found my main town but i'd liked my little fort so i made like track all the way from one to the other yeah um and it didn't take me as long as i was scared it would like because iron is fairly plentiful and gives you lots of track so yeah it's it's not yeah. horribly bad but like making a massive railway network is such a rewarding thing in minecraft it's like one of my favorite things that i've done in my in my series like it's so rewarding to put together a a a whole bunch of stations that are linked up to each other and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I, I just think it's such a great um, mechanic of Minecraft. It's one of the best things that they added to the game. And it almost feels to me like they, they, they've thought, okay, now it's done. There's auto rails. There's a really bad furnace train that, that moves so slowly. It's unbelievable. Does that actually- and, and that's it. We're do, done with the rails. Do people make that thing? Well, it doesn't. I don't think it can go up hills. I think it can only go on flat surfaces. Really? I don't think it can actually go like up. So I've never like we. <laughs> I think we got burned on our very first server where it, at the time, if you made those, you could like drop the server. Y'all remember uh, that when you made the, uh, uh, the, yeah. the like the powered carts and the chest carts? Like and maybe it was the chest carts, but like it was taboo to make any other carts besides the regular mine carts. And I, I don't think I ever got past that. Yeah, like I don't make the ones that you can hold crap in, and I don't make the powered ones because I, I don't get the point of them. I guess 
I mean, you can you can move your chest, you know. I mean, it is slow, yeah. The only time we've ever really used one or ridden on one was, I think, the end of Gloria 2. Or well, Gloria every once 1, in a while, they'll be like, put all your stuff in this track and then push it, and then you you go all the stuff that where yeah. you die, and then you finally live and get to the end. And Yeah. So in that instance, there. it doesn't matter, like, how fast it travels. Um, so maybe they fixed it. Yeah. 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 But I don't know. It kind of. I don't know if you guys play uh, Eve Online, which is like a. It's basically like uh, Excel in in space is the way that I would describe it. But the same thing happens mm-hmm. on Eve Online, where they do like they have these amazing ideas, right? And then they they implement them, and then they just they don't do it properly, and it doesn't really work. And then they and then they just move on, and then like they never fix it, they never sort it out. And I, I just hope that like doesn't happen to Minecraft, you know, like all these yeah. sweet ass things that they that they that they slowly introduce over time, and they don't just forget about them. I, I uh, well, I think this is I, I have argued for good trains and good mass transportation for a long time, so I give it a ding, 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 ding. Sweet, ding, 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 ding. ding. Yes. Ooh, that's a great idea. Let's do it. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, 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 Hey! Like, <laughs> sorry, it just cracks me up that sighting says just Minecraft. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that talented Hodge Josh uh, MC has put together this parody of Ray Bands by B.O.B. and it's pretty darn good. And the lyrics are better than the original. Yeah. So it's, it's called cool. Minecraft. Yep, yep. It's called cool. Minecraft. Hodge Josh and the Hurls. And I love B.O.B. You guys listen to B.O.B.? Atlanta rapper? No. No? Oh, no. Nope. Oh, well. He's good, man. His, his lyrics are sick. Yeah, he's cool. He's kind of a happy rapper. Like, he raps with a smile on his face. I like that. Does like, he whistle? Like, like Will Smith. I don't like rappers you know? who whistle. He's a, there's a lot of happy happy rappers. Anyway. Man, I, I think if you told B.O.B. that he was like Will Smith, he'd probably jump into a river. <laughs> well, <laughs> he doesn't have, like, he doesn't, like, use dirty language or anything, really, right? He's pretty goody two shoes. Yeah, he's pretty clean. Yeah. He did a song with Taylor Swift, I would hope. <laughs> um, so the next one is a mod this is the prehistoric mod and it requires Minecraft Forge and it says and even though I feel like I've said this this exact line before <laughs> do you know what Minecraft is missing freaking dinosaurs laser yeah haven't we had another line just like that one in our show notes before oh I think I we think had another dinosaur up. mod so yeah. anyway uh, this is a pro Percival Labs mod and it uh, provides 13 different dinosaurs together with 9 new bi- biomes and a time machine that helps you reach the prehistoric uh, you dimension you just sold it to Eric Bam. we'll be doing a series on prehistoric mod for the next two years thanks yeah that gets some cowbell and I like that. Uh, time machine yes working Astra, email me before you ever put anything about time travel in this doc. We just Thank need you. a little plutonium. So the the last one was a Jurassic mod or something. Remember mm-hmm. that one? Yeah. And that was a whole different realm you go through. And this one, I'm not sure how this works, but if this is new and it it uh, it, it supports 1.43 right now, so or 142. What are we on? 142? 142. 142. Anyway, uh, pretty cool. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs with freaking laser beams. Yeah. I approve of that mod, man. That sounds freaking sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and we got one here from uh, Callie Alec. It's the radar, bro. And it's going to get you a, <laughs> uh, a radar display onto your s- screen. So uh, try it out. We'll link it in the show notes. <laughs> yeah, it looks it looks good. It looks and good. I'll tell you if, you're, if the uh, people you see are bros or foes. Yes, yeah. exactly. And uh, the next is it's another mod called the Twilight forest uh if dinosaurs aren't really your speed then benematics twilight forest mod might be for you is this is this werewolves and vampires werewolves uh, and vampires uh, sort of kind of it adds another dimension to minecraft again and this one is a densely forested world with gigantic trees glaciers and vicious monsters such as the lich and the naga see i'm, g- I'm gonna cool. say misnamed this one yeah twilight forest yeah, yeah i think i think if you're going to call it something Twilight, 
you're gonna have to throw vampires and werewolves no. in here and then call it a day. No, we need to. We need and to <laughs> angsty teen lovers. No, and, we and need to pull like that, that. We need to, that word is a great word. We need to pull it away no, from the horrible people that have usurped. Your it. great word yeah, is screwed true. for life. Sorry, they, they took the word and messed it all up. That's like it. if the Fifty Shades of Grey mod had dinosaurs in it. They missed the boat unless they had like dinosaurs with ball gags. Uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 Which is also a cool mod. I'm sad. That's the uh, Twilight Shades of Grey Dinosaurs mod. Yeah, and uh, I'm not. Is Twilight on Netflix? I yes. I'm sure you've watched it many never. times. I've actually never seen it. Really? Really? I, I watched the first one, not and, that it, you're and, and ready we, to admit we didn't. We weren't that disturbed by it. But the second one, my wife and I watched, and, and we couldn't stop laughing at it. It wasn't super scary. No. Mm. We just kept. I mean, like, none of them are really scary. Yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, speaking of Netflix, you can get a free Netflix trial. You can, and uh, you can watch The Office, mm-hmm. the UK version or the US version, uh, streaming. Yep. And uh, it's totally cool. Uh, let's see here. I'm on the site right now, and let's see what did I watch last? I watched the uh, I watched Beyond the Time Barrier. This is a 1960s sci-fi flick uh, about. Uh, this pilot that flies and suddenly he he goes through time somehow and uh, he finds himself in the year 2025 where everything's <laughs> ma- made out of white cardboard and everything's all angly and weird and <laughs> people don't say much and it's very weird and freaky but uh, check that out. I've been watching two things. I've been watching um, Alphas. I finished the first season of Alphas. Alphas is awesome. Yeah. And that was excellent. I mm. definitely recommend it. It's like Heroes, but they did it right. Yes, yes. And then I've also been watching some anime. I, I saw really? a version of this is the song This is Halloween by, um, uh, oh, who's the guy? Marilyn Manson. Oh, yeah. And uh, somebody did an a anime video of it using video from an anime called um, Soul Eater. And it's a very stylized anime, and they're still doing a lot of hopping around and making funny faces but on the whole i'm enjoying it so far so i've been watching soul eater and if you would like ah. to take the word twilight back just like wes wilson you can go to netflix right now and watch two things the twilight zone the original series they've hey. got all four seasons more great, oldies great for stuff you. or my little pony friendship is magic with oh. uh, twilight sparkle of course. Hey. and there's two seasons of that to yeah. watch i'm instantly. signing up for that right now <laughs> netflix.com slash dead workers party you will get Get free stuff and support the show. Awesome. Well, that was it for the show. Yeah, I think, isn't it? I, th- I think we're I done. I don't. How do we? Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't have a knocking sound. Don't on you here. have the background music that you can put down? I do, but don't we do knocking first? No. What, do we have this any housekeeping? And you're listening to the shaft. Do we have any housekeeping today? I don't think I don't so. Know, do we? I think no, you talked. About, I mean, you talked a little bit about the server issues, but other than that, it's the day's uh, maid has a day off. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Maid. Uh, yeah. It's Boxing on. Day, isn't that? Isn't that the maids get the day off on Boxing Day? She is a world champion. So you know, if if you uh, want to come play some games with us, you know, we're always open to it. Uh, uh, play some Guild Wars with Wesley. What yes. server are you on? Do you we're tell on, people that? We're on Tarnished Coast. Tarnished Me and Coast. Spencer and Akond and Boom Rocker and, um, and uh, Clyde. Clyde Brock. Clyde Brock. There's five of us. Uh, Eric and I are still playing some WoW on Dawnbringer. Come look us up. We'll, uh, we're Horde. We'll go kill some Alliance with you. We're also doing some League of Legends. We'll put in the show notes uh, the link. It's a free game. You can sign yeah. up and give me free points. <laughs> yeah. I'm about the only one playing it, I think, anymore. So are you uh, playing any other games other than uh, Minecraft? Ren- Renny? Mr. Rendog? Do we lose Man, you? I'm, I'm oh. totally just on my... Actually, I'm playing XCOM Enemy Unknown. Oh, I want to play that so bad. Man, the game is so sweet, dude. Seriously. Um, I don't know. I, I, like, are you guys old XCOM fans from Terror from the Deep Days? Man. No, I never really played the old ones. It's it's really good. I really recommend checking it out. It's it's really well done. The the, the graphics are great. Like the the acting is great. Um, the casting is really good. It's it's a really great game, yeah, and the well. setting is amazing. And you get to snipe aliens in the face with <laughs> giant laser beam sniper rifles. <laughs> Sweet. That is nice. supreme. <laughs> I'll vouch for that. I like that. So I'm playing some War Z. Hop in there and play that with us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to be doing some more of that. Yeah. yeah. I, I guess I need to get that it. game. 
Yeah. You should. The yeah. new Need for Speed Most Wanted came out. Oh, really? Yeah. I hear they're making a uh, Wizardry that. online. Wizardry. Oh, wow. That's an yeah, oldie. Sony's doing it. Oh, well. Hmm. Oh. So, uh, where can we find you, Rendog? Tell everybody. YouTube.com forward slash Rendog. And that's my pri- where my primary videos get uploaded. Facebook.com forward slash Rendog.fans. And on Twitter, Ren the Dog. Rend- the Dog. Oh. And a big thank you for all the dogs coming and listening to us live. Yes. The Cyber Dogs. Uh, thanks yeah, for picking man. up this episode. Well, thanks to all the cyber nuts, man. <laughs> yeah, that's the crossover, right? <laughs> with with you, Rindog you know, in the you know shaft, like, you, uh, the... you fuse like a peach tree and an apple tree, man. That is just what happened with us, dude. That's right. <laughs> like shared genetic material. You're like you're like a server from a with another fervor, <laughs> what, what, with more fervor than ever before. Lots of fervor. Oh, this all goes downhill so fast. <laughs> well. That's it for episode 106, 107 coming at you next week with Good. And then what's after that? With Good. Yep, it'll and, be a good and show. Chef. Congratulations, you made it through The Shaft alive. See show notes and leave comments for this episode at theshaft.deadworkers.com. Send questions, comments, and audio to theshaft.deadworkers.com or leave us a voicemail at 256-812-1010. Dead Workers Party Network, the shaft that eats like a meal.